So we've been working with the laws of logarithms. Uh, we've got our product rule, quotient rule, power rule. Uh, we have the general statement that log base b of b to the x will be equal to x. And the consequences from that, log base b of b is 1, and log base b of 1 is 0. And these laws of logarithms work for any base b, um, where b is greater than 0. And what we now want to do is to look at some examples where we're working with log base e, so the natural logarithm. And of course, all of these should work for the natural logarithm as well, okay, in exactly the same way. So the way that we write it is we've got the uh, product rule of the natural log of m plus the natural log of n will be equal to the natural log of m times n. Then we have the natural log of m, take away the natural log of n, is the natural log of m over n. Okay, so that's our quotient rule. Then we've got the power rule, so p times the natural log of m will be equal to the natural log of m to the power of p. Then, for this statement, we can say that the natural log of e to the x, because remember, natural log is log base e, this will be equal to x. So, the natural log of e will be equal to 1, where, of course, x is 1 in this case. And when x is 0, we'll have the natural log of 1 must be 0. So, this is how the laws of logarithms appears in terms of log base e.